um, the virtual world of uh, video AI and avatars. So basically, this is kind of a, fu a fusion between creativity and technology um, that uh, basically helps us to entertain and even learn. OK, so uh, we're going to explore uh, the implications, but also the, all the possibilities uh, about this uh, virtual revolution. So welcome again. Thanks for being here. And yes, Edgar, over to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gabby. Yeah, so contrary to other uh, tech socials, I, I would like uh, to invite an e friend to speak about uh, virtual AI and, and avatars. So there we go. Let me see if you can see my screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go. Hey there, tech social podcast audience. It's your friendly neighborhood, Elon Musk here, diving into the fascinating world of AI avatars. Imagine a neural network mixed with Tony Stark's suit. Basically, AI avatars are digitally created versions of ourselves that can think and interact just like us. They're here to revolutionize communication, making video calls more human-like and fun. So buckle up, my friends, because the future just got a whole lot more interesting. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of technology. Peace. All right. So well, I thank e Elon Musk for that. And as you can see, I believe there's tons of things here that uh, we need to explore in, in, in this technology will have implications in many industries. So before that, uh, deep diving, let's go with Miguel in some slides that he wants to present. Go ahead, sure. Miguel. Thank you, Edgar. Let me share my screen very quick. Okay, let me know you can see my screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, before showing several examples about those video AI generators, I'd like to talk about a bit the concept behind the scenes, the, the way we are getting right now in 2023, those, kind, uh, those technologies, okay? So, and as you know, 2016, Google, uh, published or provided a new AI tool called Deep Dream. Okay, so Deep Dream started to create uh, those kind of pictures. You can see this is a duck <laughs> using your imagination. Okay, but the main concept we have here is behind uh, this neural uh, model. It's a concept called. Uh, Paradolia. I'm not sure you ha have heard about it. Paradolia. It's basically our human tendency to see patterns, right, everywhere. So if you see a cloud, you can identify, for example, I'm not sure a horse or something like that. So that's basically the main concept we need to follow, because that's the way those kind of technologies are generating pictures, videos, and everything. They are looking for patterns and they are combining those patterns and they are trying to establish an order. Okay. For example, you're gonna, you want to create a video or something like that. That's the way that those technologies are, are creating those patterns and those pictures and those videos. Okay. So here we have a point. Previously, we saw uh, those AIs generating pictures, right? We, we had a tech social when we saw those kind of uh, cool technologies. So right now in 2023, same doc, uh, basically using a similar prompt, we have this, this result, right? So that means uh, we have in like around two, seven years, we have this main difference, right? So as you know, everybody right now is using uh, those kind of pictures. So you have a project, you can just type a prompt and you can generate this amazing uh, picture, right? Instead of having this one. So, and I'm showing this because uh, probably you're gonna see the, the current video is gonna show you and gonna say, okay, we are not ready, right? We, we need to work more and the current technology is not to, 
uh, incredible as we have with the pictures. But the point here is what will happen in a couple of years, right? With those AI videos. Because as you know, video is more complex, right? In the end, a video is a, how can I say, a, like a, a lot of images through the time, right? That's the sequence we need if we want, if we want to generate a video. That means we're gonna need to have like a, like a more resources, memory, like a video processor, pro processors and everything, right? So just have that that in mind. We are we started with those AI video tools, but probably in a couple of uh, probably months, gonna have like amazing results. Okay. So. Right now, actually, we started to review a lot of options in the market. So if you want to use those technologies, we found those three, these three main options. First one is Kaber. The second one is a runway. Actually, this is my favorite one. And this one is called Pika. So basically, with Pika, you can also generate videos, but it is free at the moment. So what we can do, we can type a prompt, okay? We can text something and this tool will generate a video, okay? We can also upload an image, okay? We can also upload a picture and this tool will generate a video. And you can also combine a, a pic, an image with a prompt. You can say, you can, for example, upload a, an image, okay? And you can establish a prompt saying, okay, for this picture, animate the background. We can do that, okay? So, and um, finally, we have video to video, okay? So with this option, obviously this is amazing because you can record a video with your phone. And from there, you can specify with a prompt, like, a, okay, use this uh, avatar, use this guy or this anim uh, this video and animate it as a robot or as an as a futuristic uh, environment or something like that. It's basically up to you, because in the end, as you know, you have the prompt and the possibilities are there, right? So, yeah, that that's basically the the main concept behind those kind of tools. So I'm gonna sh show you several examples, okay? Uh, with this one, for example, and please let me know you can uh, hear the, the sound. Right now, there's a lot of uh, examples. For example, this one was made by an AI. There is an inn that you cannot find on your own. You must stumble across it on a misty street late at night, lost and uncertain in a strange city. The door has a wheel on it, but the sign bears no name. If you find the place and wander inside, you'll meet a young man behind the bar. He has no name. He cannot tell it to you should he want to. It's been taken from him, but he'll know you as he knows everyone who enters the inn. He'll listen to everything you want to tell him, and you will want to talk to him. And if you ask him for a story, he'll share one. Like he shared with me, I will now share it with you. Okay, as you can see, this version is a bit static. But it is amazing if you think they started with just with text. Okay, they they started uh, adding prompts, and they generated uh, this result. So that's why I think we have a lot of potential here. So, and if we see the second one, this one, uh, wrong way is my favorite favorite one. Here they are using a video, an original video. They are uh, uploading to Runway, okay? And they are, through the prompt, they are writing the story, okay? So this is the result. So it's amazing, right? I have I have a question on this one, Miguel. Mm -hmm. 
So they upload that video and they keep asking the tool uh, exactly what they want. Correct. For example, that last one, uh, I mean, they uploaded a video um, of like a wall or something and you have to text like, I need this to be a C with sand and uh, the horizon Correct. and okay. Okay. Yeah, you it. need to specify through a prompt, right? Okay. So similar than chat GPT. Mm -hmm. But now it's like a, you have this video, use this video as your reference. And imagine you you are a pirate or uh, I'm not sure you have you need to specify exactly what you you want there. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. So as you can see, we, we have text to video, image to video, video to video. And also very quick because after these those slides, when I show you the tools, but there's also a new trend called uh, an AI avatar. Okay, so basically with this concept, sorry, we can have those avatars, okay? And we can, for example, type a specific uh, script. So this avatar will uh, talk with that uh, based on that script you have written. Okay, that, that's basically the concept. So for example, here, you will see an example. Hey, I'm Alex, one of Synthesia's stock AI avatars. I'm looking forward to helping you create videos. So, but it, you, you wanna see the later, this, this one, but it's very easy. You just need to type what you need and this AI will, will say that script based on, on your original text. Okay, so that's incredible because suppose you need to write a tutorial, you need to, I'm not sure, explain something uh, about a specific technology and you need to, to teach how to work, um, I'm not sure, with the specific technology, right? So if you don't want to record yourself <laughs> doing that, you just can send a script and this AI will help you doing the the class for example okay that's basically obviously we have many many options there but that's the main concept okay so that, that's basically basically what i have in terms of the slides so i'm not sure edgar alfonso you want to add something mm -hmm. so i think uh, as you were saying um it boils down to the possibilities that uh, we will have in the future with this, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, right now we, we start to see how people are creating things and that uh, before would, would be, you know, like really difficult to make in terms of all the resources that you would need and all the time that you have to invest. And now we start to see some ideas coming to, to life based on uh, an, an original video or, or even text that, uh, that, are, that, that are already producing these results. Mm -hmm. So I think that eventually uh, with, with all the advance, uh, advancements that we are seeing or all, all the, all the progress that we are seeing around uh, this ecosystem, like uh, new uh, graphic engines, new AI models, new um, AI replication, voice replication, then uh, we will start encountering more and more um, of these interactions in, in our daily life. Maybe for the untrained eye, maybe in ways that uh, we cannot perceive, um, but little by little, it, it, will, it, it will start merging into our world, right? Yeah. And, and we will start interacting with it uh, even unwillingly. So, I mean, the, the progress that you showed between the, the doc image that was there at the beginning a few years back and what you can generate now, I think we, we can expect to see a similar jump between yeah, the video that, that we are seeing right now and the video that we will be able to generate later. So, 
I think it will have lots of implications in many different areas. Um, and most probably we, we can talk about it uh, a bit later. But uh, I know, Alfonso, that you also have like a, a live example on how we can use Scientitia, right? Yeah. And yeah, okay. maybe we you can wanna start with Scientitia. See it more in okay, detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also have three, three, three tools. I'll show. So you are going to show first or me first? Doesn't matter. You... Can I show then? Yeah, please. Okay. Okay, so this is um, the Santisha console, uh, management console. Santisha is a text to, to video uh, tool, uh, but the, um, the cool thing in Santisha is that you can uh, use avatars for, for videos. So, Actually, there is like uh, many templates that you can use uh, to start your, your video, to start creating your video. But also they have added a new tool here. As you can see in the top, generate video with AI. So I think we can try this. So if you click here, you can uh, choose the template that you want. For example, I would like to to use this one. And maybe I will say like, uh, pitch for a AI video generation startup. Pitch, okay. And the audience will be my investors, my potential investors, right? And then I will click here on generate video. Uh, but so it creates the scenes or slides with the with the um, a text that the avatar will will talk. And when Just let, let them finish, let it finish. It's really amazing, actually. Okay. Now we have the scene six. Okay, so we can open it here in the editor if we can do some, some changes. For example, we can change the avatar replace avatar here and we have a lot of, of avatars and maybe we can can we add our picture <laughs> we can choose uh, charlotte or a different one i like many uh, options you cannot do you have uh, Miss Klaus and <laughs> yeah, Santa good. Claus also. Better for Christmas. <laughs> and here is Santa Claus. Okay, so we, we will use Ariel. Okay. Uh, you can add here, for example, your logo. And also something that you want to, to do here is you can select a different voice. You have many languages, but also many tones. So if we say like English in the United States, we have natural, easy going, meticulous, relaxed, expressive, warm, precise. So we can choose these different tones. So I will use this easy going and I will check how does it
Hello, esteemed investors. Today, we're here to talk about a revolutionary startup that's poised to change the digital landscape as we know it. Our company, with its cutting-edge technology, is set to redefine the way we create and consume video content. Okay, here, uh, because it's like a preview, uh, Ariel is not moving the lips, but if we generate the video, we oh, will see. Okay. Okay, I was so, about to ask that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will replace all, all the avatars here to have the same, okay. you know, the, the slides. And then we can create the the, the video. video. Right, again, the, let, we can generate it. Uh, okay, I haven't selected the voice. English is going. Is there any way you can apply all the changes to all the slides? We have to do mm -hmm. one by one. I think we need to do it by one by one. Apply new voice to all. Oh, okay. Add to all okay. female. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that one. No, I don't have the easy going. <laughs> <laughs> No more easy going. <laughs> I need an easy going accent. <laughs> Me too. I want my picture there. <laughs> I want so I want my picture there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah um, that that's it's my presentation. I want my picture. Yeah, you can you can create your own avatar. Yeah, that's, you can. That means yeah. the the avatar here uh, can look like you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but the, that's a uh, uh, cost uh, service, so we need to pay for it. Oh. <laughs> uh, and for yeah, this, you, this you part can. is free or? Uh, this is, no, this is not free. It, it has a, a cost, but the avatar, uh, uh, you need to add more payment. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. So if, if I click here on generate, um it all will take uh, nine minutes to to generate the all the video so maybe we can um see the other tools while while this uh, right. okay <laughs> good <Perfect. laughs> let me share my screen very quick uh can i ask a question yes ma so uh that's been the recent um are now up in content about these uh, streamers that have uh, these anime avatars. I think they're called VTubers. Is that also like a, an AI avatar that they make and then they just record themselves with this? Or is it like a different technology? There's a lot of options. Actually, yeah, probably they are using an AI avatar. You also saw services for streaming, especially, especially for uh, Twitch. Yeah, right now that's basically the approach, Mo. Okay, thank you. Okay, great. So let's see, uh, this is basically the first one, Kyber. So as you can see now we have a prompt, right? So you can use the, the, the you can describe the subject and actually you can specify the, the style, okay? So you can also, oh, sorry. Yeah, for example, you can say, okay, I, I want to have a Fisher Fisher Rate Seek uh, Cyberpunk with this style, right? So this prompt will generate a video, let me show you. So you, you can specify the, the aspect uh, radio you want to use for TikTok or different different uh, ratios. So we're going to use this one, and I'm going to generate previews. So basically, here you're going to see several styles. If you want to proceed with that style, then you can choose uh, a good one, and then it will generate the video. But as you can see, you can specify 
like a, a big prompt here, like a big description, very similar than ChatGPT or Mid Journey with images. Okay, meantime, probably I can show you also. The second one is called uh, Pika. Pika is living in on Discord. Okay. Um, as we saw before, it's again, very similar than uh, Mid Journey. So for example, you can see here, uh, this guy generated a prompt, shopping mall abandoned, things run, runs, oh, I, I cannot <laughs> pronounce this one, ransacked, landscape. Okay, and this is the result. Okay, so this one is one. Can you see? So with cool. Uh, and right now this is limited because this is free. The good thing about it is like uh, you now can animate this right. way, right? But you can you can only do like one scene. You cannot do like a video like the previous one we saw with the pirate and the yeah. Scene. Actually, this one is your for with one scene as you said, mm -hmm. but we have alternatives you want to proceed with like a diff like a longer script mm -hmm. yeah um, this, this is a good start because you can see there uh, the community and you can learn how to proceed with a specific uh, prompts right this is more like a gif yeah yeah. Yeah. I, I know you you can buy credits and you can have a, like a longer a, a longer scene. Mm -hmm. But many many options there. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh Prika. Okay. In back uh, for with Kaver. As you can see now I have this style or this one. If I am ready with that with that option I I just select this one for example. And then I can create a video. In a free version, you have just 100 credits. OK. But obviously, you, you can pay for, for it, and, and you can get more and more credits. And, and how much, I know how how much, much do I they know. get per, per video? Like right now, how much are they going to take? We It probably took like around eight credits. OK. OK. Eight credits. Yeah, so that's basically the, the the current options you you have. Okay, and here, for example, uh, you can you can review the gallery and you can see more examples created by the community. I'm not sure. Probably you saw that one on TikTok, right? <laughs> Those kind of transitions. Oh. So, so that's basically oh, yes. the tool. Yeah. D didn't they use it for uh, the intro for Secret Invasion series? Oh, OK. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that, so that's basically the static at that result. OK, very quick. <laughs> this is OK, where you can take a look. From my perspective, this is a, the my favorite one, OK? <laughs> Actually, they are. Proceeding right now with the second generation here with, uh, with Runway. So the second generation is creating amazing, amazing results. So, and actually they, they you can proceed with the options we saw before, like a text to video, image to video, but they also have a kind of AI video editor, okay, an interface. So you can, for example, play with uh, 3D objects, a lot of options there. So for example, you want to remove the background, you can use this one. But I was using myself there. So it will, you just need to dra uh, drag and drop the video. Now you can play with, with that video. Remove, removing, the, for example, the background or changing the background, a whole uh, video. Can you see? So for example, you just need to click 
on an area that start ma uh, masking. Okay, I have identified myself there. So if I click on preview, then easily I'm gonna remove the, the whole background. And then on the same on this same tool, you can add any other. Yeah, you can. You can, for example, replace the background with Can you see now I don't have the background, then I can mm -hmm. upload a picture or something like that. So many, many options. For example, I also tried it with Gen 2. But it was a bit scary because I said, OK, uh, animate the background. But the result was like a weird animation with uh, Bluey. <laughs> so if I can reproduce that one. Taking a lot of time, probably it's my network. But you can see it is not <laughs> fancy. But it yeah. actually it works it works pretty well recognizing you and like it doesn't take parts of you, you know? Like correct. That, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's completely amazing. So that's uh runway. Actually, the, the video we saw there on the slides was made with uh, Runway. And obviously, if you are a 3D animator, graphic designer, obviously you're gonna get better results than me. So invitation is there, try to play with those kind of things. This is, final... this is, a, this is paid, right? Uh, this yeah. is, uh, right now I just have 89 seconds <laughs> left. Okay. It's a free version. Once you, uh, uh, process those seconds, then you you need to, you're gonna need to pay. Okay. So, and actually, you can buy um, credits, so, so you you can have a a longer scene. But that's basically, as you can see here again, you can try with a text, with an image, or you can upload an image and you can add the description. So that's basically the interface. Okay, let's wait a bit for that one. Again, here you you gonna see the the options you you can create, and also obviously you you gonna need to learn how to do that. There's a documentation about it, but that's crazy. That's amazing. Especially if you think you just just you just adding text and you are getting those backgrounds and those kind of videos. So for example, here, not very bad, right? <laughs> the result. That's why actually you need to improve your prompt. Again, it's the same approach we follow in ChatGPT. If you, if you offer enough context, then you're gonna, you're gonna get uh, a great response, right? That's same approach. Okay. So, okay. Finally, very quick. Sorry, Alfonso. Hey, hey, hey Jen, it's similar than Santisha. Okay. Actually, the same approach. But here, I know you can use your your phone. You can record yourself, and then you can create your own avatar. And they are saying, just uh, within two minutes. You, this technology is ready for creating a, a a new avatar based on yourself. Okay, I tried it yesterday, but it is on in a, in a beta version, so I I need to have an invitation or something like that. It's very similar, actually. There's a lot of competitors. I know right now Santisha is the, is like the bigger, the biggest one, but as you can see, every day we are getting those kind of tools. Um, finally, very quick, uh, I also found this one, Fenaki. With Fenaki, it's, again, same approach, but here you can see you can, con you can concatenate prompts. 
Okay, so for example, you can try like a photorealistic teddy bear swimming in the ocean at San Francisco. The teddy bear goes underwater, that's happening. A teddy bear uh, keeps swimming underwater with, uh, with colorful fishes. So as you can see, the, sec the third one is there probably. Okay, I'm not seeing the fishes. Okay, there. <laughs> and a panda bear is swimming underwater and it's changing to the panda. So that's also a good alternative. Again, this is growing up. Uh, I'm gonna try to share with you those links so you can take a look. Okay, Alfonso, hope we're already right with, with okay. your AI avatar. Okay, let me. It, it... It needs two more minutes, so maybe if oh, you sorry. <laughs> want to talk. Uh, but what, what about, for example, Edgar, what do you think about it? Mm, I think uh, we are also curious about what Archana was saying, right? Uh, how we can, you know, take these models in, in this video generation and then uh, get ourselves in. I think that that's going to be always an interesting use case. Mm, and then what we can do with it. Uh, for example, I guess most of us want to automate some tasks or, you know, like maybe uh, use some of, of the time that we spent doing some things in, in some other things. So maybe we can get uh, ourselves giving a presentation while we are doing something else and then just get the feedback uh, for it. Or um, I don't know, I, I was exploring what alternatives and what will this imply into the future. And one thing that, that I found uh, really interesting uh, was on the entertainment uh, industry. And they were saying things like, imagine what would happen if uh, we can create uh, customized avatars for your favorite actors. And then we create uh, one movie mm. that would react based on, <laughs> on, on your reactions, right? And, and, and would uh, customize it that way. So I think that would be fascinating. And at the same time, that would be something that you want to share. Like, uh, look, uh, this guy is uh, acting in this particular movie and this is what happened. And then maybe somebody else has another end for, for that movie because they reacted differently. So that kind of interaction, I, I think, would be pretty interesting to see, right? Um, I, I even heard about uh, artists looking to, to generate models, for example, of their voice. So they don't necessarily have to sync um, each and every record that they uh, take out in the market, rather uh, have the model sing for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. but that's just crazy, right? Or, or yeah. virtual concerts, or I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of things there that, that might happen and in, in that will be all enabled uh, thanks to this technology. So I, I, I guess- I also, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. Yes? So I also saw a post mm -hmm. where Disney and Netflix, they are trying to create a, a film, okay? But the beginning, when, uh, before playing the, the movie, you can select the main character, mm -hmm. okay? So you, you can have, for example, the like, main actors. You can say, okay, I, I want to see this movie with Ben Affleck. And you can select Ben Affleck, and then you want to see the whole movie with Ben Affleck. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds crazy. And, and I think it can also help us in other ways, right? For example, let's think about education. And uh, maybe you have heard about famous characters uh, in the human history. And, yeah, and you're curious about uh, understanding what they felt or why, what they thought um, or Maybe you just want somebody else to teach you a lesson and maybe there can be like a service that can create these uh, characters in, in having you, you know, I don't know, maybe mm -hmm. 
uh, speaking to Einstein or to uh, <laughs> some Greek philosopher or, or something, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess that would also be interesting. Uh, we are almost there, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing that, that I saw that might be, you know, some part of the future is what happens if we capture, um, you know, like the way um, our loved ones speak and the way uh, they, they look like, then even after they uh, pass away, then we can still talk to them or talk to historical figures, as I was saying, right? <laughs> yeah. So that would also be uh, pretty cool, I guess. Um, and I think that, that even Same is thing. depicted in some movies, right? Um, yeah. So those kind of things uh, that, that seem more like uh, fiction might come to reality in, in sometime in the near future. So that, that would also be cool. Um, and may, maybe we will start, uh, you know, like interacting and, and working through our avatars. Um, so we can meet it in a virtual office and maybe you can buy virtual clothes for yourself um, or, you know, uh, maybe maybe use your avatar to uh, try out uh, outfits and then select the best one uh, that, that really you, you feel suits you well and then get those items shipped to, to your door after you have virtual tried them, right? Yeah. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think lots of things can happen here. And uh, and then we also have like the downside, right? Because uh, let, let me show you the, the tool that I used to uh, generate the video at the beginning that I showed at the beginning. So I use this particular tool, right? And then uh, for this, um, most probably they train these, um, these models with uh, particular data from, from these particular people. Right, but the result uh, would actually look like uh, as as if they were speaking, and they were really you know like uh, saying things. So uh, we can even I think I have another example here. Then you just click. Well, you select one character, then you select one scene that you want to see, and then you put some prompt as we were saying in the other tools, and then you click generate. And then uh, it, it will work that for you and, and present you with the result. But for example, what happens um, if somebody calls you or if you see somebody that you know in video or somebody from your family saying that they need money uh, because they are stuck in, in, a, in a trouble or something, right? Then um, if you are not aware of this, then for sure you will be worried yeah. about it, right? And, yeah. and then, yeah, and then there's where people might uh, start abusing the, the the tools and start using it, you know, to to scam people or, or to trick people into giving yeah, them money. Those so very so, risky, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, so so there are downsides as well. Yeah, right? and uh, the other day I was also thinking, what happens with all the videos that we are uploading and and all the content and you know. Whenever you are showing yourself, you might be, you might be giving tools to, to these people or to somebody else to kind of copy um, your image. Hey there, it's your favorite world traveler, copy, Donald J. Trump. You know, like the way that you are speaking and stuff, right? Let me share again my screen, but with audio, so you can see the result here. Or maybe I was, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I, we could yeah, hear. I was, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey there, it's your favorite world traveler, Donald J. Trump. Let me tell you, I've been to a lot of places, and there's this thing called the Great Wall of China. Tremendous wall, folks, believe me. I bet you didn't know, but it's so big, it can be seen from space, just like my luxurious hotels. And let me tell you, China may have a great wall, but nobody builds walls better than me. Mine are big and beautiful, just like the ones I'll build on the southern border. Enjoy your travels, and remember, nobody does walls like Trump. Wow. Right. 
So, so, Come so on, then... Edgar. <laughs> I, I was very happy seeing only the positive things here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, uh, for sure, there, there will be tons of things that, that people will build and that would be positive. So we, we can always hope for the best. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, but... And then there's other, the other side of, uh, of it, right? And, and, mm -hmm. and we should also be prepared for it, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But um, I, I, I agree with you. I think we should focus on the happy things here and, mm -hmm. you know, like <laughs> try okay. to, to make a productive use of these technologies. Um, and at the moment, have fun, right? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's um, there's one more thing, sorry Edgar to interrupt, but like this will take us back to maybe the positive side. Mm -hmm. um, there is a sort of documental uh, documentary uh, on Netflix. It's called The Future of. I was trying to get it and try to share it here. Mm -hmm. I didn't see all of them. There are like I don't know around twelve, fifteen uh, episodes, but I did so, uh, see one called um, Life After Death. Mm -hmm. And is oh. basically, well, the script is the small description here. It says holograms, voice cloning, human com composting. Experts uh, examine end of life services and the physical, digital, and the spiritual remains um, we leave behind. So what I saw here was that uh, someone dies and they composted and they... Uh, they uh, like cre planted and you get like a tree. So mm -hmm. instead of going to the cemetery, you go to a park and there is a tree where your, I don't know, your father is, but also like right wow. next to the tree, there is like this, I don't know, type of thing that takes you to a hologram. You can see a hologram with his face, voice, and you basically wow. can go to the park to talk to your dad. Oh, nice. um, it, it was pretty, yeah, pretty like shocking to watch, okay. but it was, it's, it's great. I mean, obviously this will probably happen like in uh, so many years, but it's Not a sure. good documentary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, you should see it. Um, I just watched that one episode and it was pretty, yeah, shocking. <laughs> wow. Oh, thanks for sharing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, if, if you can share the title. Yeah, uh, share the title. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm trying there. to get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it finished. Awesome. <laughs> right on time. Yeah. Okay, just let me share. Okay, I, first I, I want to, to show this very quick. Uh, about the, the own custom avatars. Studio enables you to create your custom avatar. On the actors panel, click request your own actor. This is a paid add-on feature and you can see the prices and guidelines by the link below. Let me give you a brief. You can choose between two formats, lo-fi or hi-fi. For the phone or webcam lo-fi avatar, just record a video of your avatar using your smartphone. No green screen or equipment required. For the hi-fi avatar, green screen recording is required. So make sure you have a decent background, camera, and lighting setup. A hi-fi avatar gives you more flexibility and a professional finish for your video content. Once you've decided, click Request Custom Avatar, and we will be in touch with the next steps. Please note, before requesting, each custom avatar needs the explicit consent of the person. Yeah, uh, good, <laughs> amazing. Okay, so you, you can create your own avatar yeah, that China, looks like, like you. <laughs> and now we'll see this one. Oh, come on. Uh. <laughs> so I cannot see it. But we have that uh, layout right, probably. It's not possible. 
mm, something we are violating. I don't know <laughs> what. <laughs> but uh, well, here I have another one that we can. That text can... was generated by the AI, right? Yeah. Oh, probably something. The is template there. is also from from them. Yeah. Let me show this. Are you tired of paying high fees when buying or selling online? Do you want a platform that is reliable and easy to use? Look no further. Try Savage Marketplace. Our platform is built on a private network, meaning zero gas fees. This makes it a cost-effective solution for creating and selling NFT. In addition, our platform is designed to be easy to use, so anyone can use it. Our platform has the key features you need to create and transact NFT. It is fast, secure, and efficient. Now, I am going to show you how easy it is to use our application. Once you enter the application, you can go to the Marketplace option. Here you can see all the available tokens for purchase and relevant information about each token. Now, let's make a purchase. In order to make a purchase, simply click on the buy button, which appears when we put the cursor. Well, that's that's, uh, that's a video amazing. that yeah, I generated uh, a few time ago. Um, but yeah, the the cool thing here in Centesha is you can create like very professional uh, videos uh, using these avatars, and I think it's very quick to generate those videos because you you only need to put the the text and select the avatar and select the templates and you can obviously change the 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 content and everything colors and everything and then you can generate the, the video in in a very fast way yeah awesome. Okay, so it's already 12 p.m. So we, we should be wrapping up. Is there any any other questions from, from anyone? Any final thoughts about this uh, technology? One thing that I think by watching the, what Alfonso was just sharing is that even though I believe it's pretty accurate and it's pretty good, yeah. Somehow I still, it, it, I feel it's good that you, you still can tell it's an AI. <laughs> You're right. But in the moment that you, like, you don't realize that it's not actually Donald Trump, or I mean that, I mean, you don't know if it is or if it's not, that's when it will get like scary. Yeah. But <laughs> so far you can still tell that it is an avatar talking. So mm -hmm. Probably in a few years, we won't be able to notice anymore. <laughs> or in a few months. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> thank you, Arjuna. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone. Um, thanks for being here, supporting us. Um, we will have some uh, speakers for the next two socials. So I hope you, you can join for those. I'll be sharing the flyers as soon as I get them. Um, that, that would be for October. And um, yeah, so we can wrap this one up. Uh, if there's anything else you guys want to say, otherwise, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. So thank you. And you can always go and try it. And sure. there you can tell us what, what you watch, think about it. Watch that documentary on Netflix. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it has a lot of <laughs> things, sports, fashion, everything. Awesome. Cool. We'll do. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, guys. Right. Thank you. Thank you. See you in the See next one. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye.